The introduction of a corporate executive is his curriculum vitae. Of a businessman, his net worth. To an artist, the value of his signature. But to a saint, it is his attitudes, his potencies, his uncanny supernatural capabilities. Mostly, historically, saints have demonstrated power through healing. Find next. The Healer Extraordinaire The world knew him as a miraculous healer who could heal at will. He cured me of an incurable disease in less than a minute. Like me, there were innumerable people whom he cured in a period that spanned 18 odd years in this physical incarnation and continuously thereafter in the afterlife. His help went far beyond physical ailments. He helped resolve issues relating to black magic, spirit problems, ancestral issues, financial problems, career issues, spiritual issues. There is a list, but it's not exactly small. Mathematically, it was not possible to solve the riddle of how he managed to help so many people whom he interacted with for barely a few seconds. There was no time to listen to their woes, and yet they healed. So how? Bittuji clarifies an acceptable and common cause of confusion. So if they give 20 people in one minute, what can they remember of 20 people? मैं उन्हीं के बातें दोहराता हूं कि वो ये कहते थे कि जो भी लोग अंदर एंटर हुए स्थान के ऊपर उसने माथा टेक लिया मेरे को याद रहे ना लेकिन जब मैं अपने पार्क में बैठता हूं तो वो पूरी फिल्म मेरे सामने चलती थी हिज लास्ट लाइन वाज पूरी फिल्म मेरे सामने चलती थी बिट्टू जी नैरेटिव वाज नॉट यूनिक गुरुदेव शेयर्ड दिस विद मोस्ट ऑफ अस ही टोल्ड मी वेरी क्लियरली आफ्टर फिनिशिंग सेवा I should first remember the last person who came and then the first. And he said all those who came in between would come into my subconscious analysis and I would be able to work on them provided I meditated on the first and the last ones. The list was long and his help was always forthcoming. His mission was to help motivate people towards spirituality. His assistance went beyond human life forms. He felt responsible for all life forms. Today, I have forced myself to learn to respect insects, including cockroaches and mosquitoes, only because of his example setting. Nitin Gadikar had a healing experience as instant as my own. A couple of kidney stones disappearing in less than a few seconds. I had a kidney stone and that kidney stone moved and those who have had this problem about with their kidneys can tell you that you don't know whether you're coming or going and I was very upset and uh, my aunt who's a doctor called another doctor uh, injected me with something but by that time I had pain had relieved it was like the fear of death I don't know what not that I really think about death or but that was saying I was really scared and I picked up the phone in the later on in the evening and uh, told uh, spoke to guruji i i think by evening that scare of that pain forced me to ring up guruji and i said guruji i'm not feeling well so what's the problem so i said um, you know i think i have this kidney stone i got an x ray done and there are three stones in my kidney so he said so so i said i'm very upset about it he said, Mira, beta okay, darta hai? I said, Nee, Guruji, you know, I had such a lot of pain that I, I don't want to have that pain any longer. So he said, Chha, now don't be scared. And he just, he said, to a peak okay, and he put the phone down. And the minute he put the phone down, those three stones totally disappeared. And from that day, somewhere in 1985, till today, I've had no problem with my kidneys. And all the doctors who had examined me and who had seen those stones have no answer how they've disappeared. 
This is one of the quickest remote healings that I have ever heard of. Two or three kidney stones dissolving in a matter of seconds? Can a laser achieve that? Only evolved cosmic powers can. His abilities to heal were almost unbelievable. Giri Lalwani moved from Hath Ki Safai to Charan Me Pranam, a giant leap for a man as naughty as that. Me and Sham Dumatkan and another, my Guru Bhai, Sri Krishna, we all three went to see Guruji. I saw him, I didn't even say Namaste to him, I didn't even touch his feet, nothing. And he welcomed us. There's one very handsome, good looking man along with him, which happens to be my father in law now. <laughs> so, uh, then Guruji said, Ajao Puttu. I went near to him. Then he showed, he showed his, some, something on his hand, which I, you know, I couldn't make out okay, what is he showing and all. He said, this is Om, this is the shoe, this is Ganpati, this is Shivling. So he said, Tereko putuk dikha ni. Then he again he showed me. Then I could see. I could see Ganpati ji. Is that all that you saw or were there more things that you did not see at that time? On his no, is that all? Maybe there must be so many things which I didn't see and I... I couldn't see also probably because I was not interested, frankly speaking, not at all. You know, so not did that impress you when he showed you? The no, we, so we all came out and we stood at some corner, crossed off the road, crossing on the road. Sunny, he asked uh, Sham, how did you find it? Sham was very impressed, excellent, par excellent, he said. Then he asked Krishna in Marathi, Kathakai, then uh, Krishna was also impressed, he said Changla. Then he asked me, Kaise laga? I said, Sabhat ki sabhai yaar, chhod yaar, abhi bekhar ki baat hai sabhai. Then I went home. And I forgot everything. This is what happened the first time. But then again these, my friends, which they are my guru bhais now, they were coming to Gurgaon. In the month of March, they said, Bada Viruvar hota hai wahan pe. So I said, this time I am also coming. So you all came to Delhi. Then we came to Gurgaon. After that, we came to see Guruji on Bravirva. It was 9, 9.30 at night. There was a long big queue. It was 1983. 1983, March. So we all had his darshan at 3 o'clock in the morning. It was Friday. Then he was full of life and you know, he was wearing a lungi and a shirt. The moment he saw me, he saw me, he said, Why? How did he feel your hands? I said, my God, this Sunny, my friend, he must have gone and told him a very bad. I, this thought came into my mind and before I could say or do something, he said, Achha, kal mili no. the next day he met me in his bedroom. Uh, Puttu, beta ho jo, tere doste nahi dasya menu, ye haath ki safai ho. I said, my God, ye inko kaise pata chala, ye to mein ne abhi kisi se share hi nahi kya thought. Achha, Puttu, mein sab jaanta hoon, tere ko ye bimari hai, then he told me medicine's names also, which I also don't remember till today. I didn't know what are some. He said, these are capsule or goliyan, jo bhi hai, to just throw them, flush them and in the, in the washroom. And I said, I will do this. I will do this. I will do this. And then he gave me long latch and all this. And that's all. Then he and this time he believed it? This time I believed it. Yeah, because frankly speaking, I had no other choice. So I believed it. Okay, let's go. Then by the time I reached home, it was I felt 90% believed. You sure this is not psychological? No, 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 not at all. Physically, I felt very energetic and I was quite all right, 90% all right. When the six months got over between March and he called me up in Bombay. He said, "Put your chain money full, okay? And you go now and test it. Test it. I said, okay. So I went to uh, this. Doctor, he told me कि अपना पुराना report कुछ भी मत दिखाना. Doctor को, I said ठीक है. Then I went and got the X-ray done and all this. So then he then he said बाद में दिखाना उसको. Then I said कैसे? He all right, nothing is wrong with you, doctor said. Then I showed him the whole report. He said no, they are not yours. You must be mistaken. When हाथ की सफाई converted to दिल की सफाई, the results were instant or almost so. In Gurudev's words, it was not he, but the faith of the heels that begot the cure. 
Gurudev's modesty may be, but I have seen umpteen examples where devout faith got amazing results. Many of the people who came for cures and help stayed on to become followers, devotees and some disciples. This is the story of how Virindarji arrived on the scene. The finest power that I saw in him was the way he cured people. Providence, my destiny took, him, took me to him. Uh, I was posted at, uh, at, uh, at Palwal during those days and my residence was at Fridabad in Sector 7. And uh, my wife was, was sick. Sick for quite a few months. She had some gynae problem, maybe concerning her uterus or somewhere else. The best of the antibiotics were not working. I took her to uh, this Mulchand Hospital. Dr. Sheila Mehra, I'm talking about 1983-84. I took uh, her to uh, Sheila Mehra. She said, I must operate, operate this lady immediately, lest she has more serious problems. And my wife couldn't, couldn't stand straight. It was, a, it was a bent body. So a gentleman came to the house right adjacent to my house, where an SDO lived. Mr. Ashok Agarwal was the SDO of Huda during those days. We, we shared a common wall. So that gentleman said, this lady, she's sick, who is she? He said, some new judge has come here. She's his wife and she's sick. He said, tell them to go to Gurgaon. There is Guruji in Sector 7, he will cure her. I can see she is really in much pain. So that is how I went to him on Mahashivratri day in the year 1984. But I didn't have the guts to even come down from the car. When this, I saw the people queuing up there, a queue as long as your eyes could meet. Beautiful people there, old people, young people, people from Delhi, and waiting for his darshan for a second. I came back to Fridabad. That Inspector Bhajanlal Bishnoi was there with me. So he saluted me and he said, Sir, anything else can I can do for you? Okay, you arrange my meeting with this saint. One to one meeting I want with him. And on the 16th of April, April, 1984, I met him for the first time. It was a wonderful meeting. He said, Agya Put, Tera in Zarsi. Beautiful words. They still ring in my ears. Then I told him my wife is sick. Then he would say, you come on Bada Virbar, you come on Guru Puja. And I kept on, kept on visiting him. It was 27th of September, 1984. Almost five months thereafter, more than five months thereafter. I told him, I came in the evening, I finished my court hours, I came in the evening and I told him, either cure her or kill her. But don't leave, please leave her in this imbalance. Then he called his shishya, Mr. Sharma. Sharma ji, he was a hefty man, a very healthy man. Sharma ji came, he the is the dard bar khich de. Pull her pain out. So he gave her strokes here, here and here. This is how they, you know, he hit those strokes here. And within, Seconds, three bulging lemon size, you know, uh, lemons, I, I, I would call them, bulging things, they, they appeared here. And he said it was some spirit bothering her. She will never be bothered again. He told me certain do's and don'ts. And he said, well, stand straight. My wife immediately straightened herself. Kata, do, you, do you feel pain? She said, no. Kata, walk. She walked. She came back. Do you feel pain? Kata, no. Kata, now run. She ran a few steps, came back. Do you feel pain? And believe me, that was the last that that pain ever, ever bothered her. Punchu Sethi has always been a person of significance at the Sthan. Her faith in Gurudev is unshakable. Gurudev hardly treated her like the little girl she was in those early years. Actually, I could almost consider her to be enviable. Her story follows. I remember I used to get migraines, you know, regular migraines. And once you were in front of Guruji, and my mama ji spoke to Guruji. Guruji, can you cure her migraines? And uh, he looked at me and he said, Kisi ko bhi dard hogi na? Usko maate pe aise karke, he showed me how to um, made a, yeah, treat migraines. And he said, Ki, if you uh, if you cure 100 people, then your migraine will start becoming less, lesser and lesser, you know, after so much of seva. 
and uh, that's how I did. I remember we went to Jaipur on a school trip, and there was a girl who was who had a headache. And I just like how Guruji had told me, you know, I pressed her forehead with my thumb and uh, first finger, and lo, it was like magic, and her headache was gone. After that, two three more girls came, so it was like the standing um, thing in class. Like whoever had a migraine used to come to me and ask to cure it. It was like magic in my fingers, you know. Sometimes it was not only faith but seva that he expected from those who came to seek his help. Punchu's example and Giri's sister's example that follow are examples of his spiritual arbitration. Arthat, justifying the cure by making the other person work for it. This is regarding my sister. One of them, she lives in Delhi. She's married now. I'm talking about uh, uh, 85. So this sister of mine, she was young that time. So. She had just left college. She's so beautiful, my sister. Very pretty girl. She got some skin disease in her hands and feet. That is, they were full of pus, and the the skin started peeling off. They started swelling, and the hands and feet used to sting. Very dirty thing. I remember nobody used to enter her room. They used to sting so badly. And in fact, poor woman, she couldn't eat food. She couldn't tie. Uh, her salwa, she couldn't do anything uh, with her own hands. She couldn't walk also. She couldn't take bath. Somebody is there to give her bath and all this. So she had become totally helpless, like a leper, in fact. So I, I felt very pity for her, and I said, I called up Gurudev ji. So I said, Guruji, I said, what happened? He said, कोई बात नहीं बेटा तू उसको यहाँ ले आ गुड़गांव एंड उसको मैं ठीक कर दूँगा. So I brought her here, and Gurudev ji said, कि बेटा तू एक काम कर. तू लंगर में सेवा कर 11 दिन फुलकों को तू घी लगा तू ठीक हो जाएगी बस यही करना है तूने दोनों दो टाइम का लंगर बनता है और फुलकों को घी लगाती रहेगी तेरी तेरे हाथ में दारू मारी ठीक हो जाएगी जब 11 दिन कंप्लीट हुए सिर्फ कान पे शी बिकेम ऑल राइट आज तक मतलब आज उसको ये बात को करीबन बाईस तेईस साल हो गए शी नेवर गॉट एट डिजीज बैक एंड बिफोर डेट एवरी सिक्स मंथ शी गेट एट डिजीज बैक एंड वी वेंट टू लुक आउट फॉर एवरी डॉक्टर इन Uh, skin specialist all over Mumbai and all over India, but uh, nobody could cure her. They, of course, they used to cure her, but for the short time. Again, it used to come. Again, again, she used to get this disease back. But since that day onwards, she has never got it back. Such a great miracle. Santosh Ji of Nadon's son Randhir adds to the countless stories of Guru Dev's powers as a healer extraordinaire. जैसे बाकी दाँतों के ऊपर दाँत लगा हुआ हाँ जी काफी अंदर जाके अच्छा ठीक है तो डॉक्टर ने वो भी डॉक्टर भी डरे हुए थे कहते मुँह तो साइड ऐसी काटना पड़ेगा ऑपरेट करना पड़ेगा ये करना पड़ेगा और ये भी चांसेस नहीं है कि कुछ भी हो सकता है स्थान पे जहाँ पूजा करते हैं वहाँ गुरु जी की मूर्ति रखी हुई है और हम रोज जो धूप करते हैं वहाँ पे तो जो धूप की विभूति होती है मेरी बड़ी सिस्टर वहाँ पे गई तो उसने गुरु जी को वैसे बच्चे थे हम बच्चे इनसेंट होते हैं गुरु जी के पास की मेरी बहन को ठीक कर दो ये कर दो वो कर दो तो उसने वहाँ से सिर्फ विभूति उठाई और उसके जो दाँत था उस दाँत पे लगाई अच्छा और हम मानो कह रही विद इन विद इन सेकेंड वो दाँत उसके मुँह में था ही थी उसने पापा को बात मारी कहते पापा रुचि ठीक हो गई पकते कैसी बातें कर रही है ये वो तो विश्वास नहीं कर रहे थे वो पकड़ के लेगी पापा को अंदर तो जैसे पापा ने हाथ लगाया मुंह में दाम थाई थी सच में ब्यूटीफुल द टूथ वाज नो मोर बट द फेथ वाज नो लेस सम ऑफ द मिरिकल्स इफ यू वांट टू कॉल देम दैट परफॉर्म बाय हिज पावर यूजिंग हिज डिसाइपल्स एज द फ्रंट वर आल्सो स्पेक्टेकुलर हियर इज वन by Ravi Trehanji Many years back the couple came from America that lady at that part of time must have been about 65 66 years old she had a brain tumor which was malignant to unka ilaaj chal raha tha america mein and luckily it so happened ki uske jo dono ladke the wo dono doctors the and both specialized in eradication of cancer hmm 
उन दोनों की बीवियां भी डॉक्टर थी और वो भी स्पेशलाइज्ड इन एजुकेशन ऑफ कैंसर दो साल तक उसका इलाज चलता रहा और अल्टीमेटली डॉक्टर्स अमेरिकन डॉक्टर्स ने भी आपस में मीटिंग की बोला कि वी शुड मेक एन अनाउंसमेंट टू दिस लेडी नाउ कि हर लाइफ स्पैन अकॉर्डिंग टू द मेडिकल रिपोर्ट इज नॉट मोर देन थ्री टू फोर मंथ तो अगर इन इसी को लास्ट विश हो तो उनके लड़कों से कहा जो डॉक्टर्स हैं यू बेटर आस्क कर तो वो विश पूरी कर दो तो लड़कों ने डिस्क्लोज किया मदर को फादर को तो दे डिसाइडेड के भी अगर शरीर छोड़ना ही है तो वाई जीवित ने फॉरेन लैंड उनकी अंबाला में बहुत बड़ी कोठी है तो अपने देश जाते हैं वहां जाके शरीर को त्यागते हैं वन फाइन मॉर्निंग एट अबाउट सिक्स सिक्स थर्टी मैं उठ के बाहर निकला गेट खोला तो आई सो ए कपल कि यहाँ कोई महात्मा जी आते हैं जो हर तरह की बीमारियां ठीक कर देते हैं मैंने कहा जी क्या प्रॉब्लम है आपको बोला हम बहुत दूर से आए हैं और बड़ी श्रद्धा से बड़ी विश्वास से आए हैं ये प्रॉब्लम मैंने उनको आप स्थान पे जाके बैठो मैं भी आता हूँ उनको मैंने भेजा मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ अपने माई स्टेट ऑफ माइंड एक बार मैंने गुरु जी की तरफ देखा तस्वीर को देखा मैंने कहा मालिक आज कैसा इम्तहान ले रहे हो कि जहां मेडिकल साइंस की कोई कमी नहीं है वो लोग डिक्लेयर करते हैं कि इसका लाइफ स्पेन सिर्फ तीन महीने या चार महीने है और ये जीवन दान मांगने आई है मुझसे तो मैंने कहा बुलाने वाले आप आई हैव नॉट मेड एनी एफर्ट टू कॉल देम हियर ये तो पूछते पुछाते आए हैं और अगर ये आ गए हैं तो एक बात तो मेरे मन में यकीन है कि इसका लाइफ ज्यादा है तभी इसको ये रास्ता नजर आया है उसको मैंने सुपारियां बना के दे दी लौंग लाची बना के दे दी वहां शिवराती का जल भी दे दिया उस वक्त मैंने कहा तुम ये लो और अभी बाहर से आए हो तो चालीस दिन के बाद आना द लेडी स्टार्ट क्राइम कि मुझे यहाँ आए ऑलरेडी चालीस पैंतालीस दिन हो गए हैं अमेरिका से आप कहते हैं चालीस दिन के बाद आना दैट मीन्स वो तीन महीने का जो मेरा टाइम स्पैन डॉक्टर्स ने बताया था तो खत्म हो जाएगा मैं तो मर जाऊंगी मैं कैसे आ सकती हूँ एंड आई टोल्ड दैट लेडी विद ऑल दफिडेंस लुक अगर आपको किसी ने ये रास्ता दिखाया है मैं आपको यकीन के साथ कह सकता हूँ कि चालीस दिन के बाद आप आओगे जरूर कितने ठीक होके आते हो वो मैं अभी नहीं कह सकता लेकिन आओगे जरूर ओके श्योर एंड ऑफ दिस लेडी केम आफ्टर फोर्टी डेज उसकी हालत पहले ये थी कि एवरी डे शी यूज टू हैव ए स्प्लिटिंग हेडेक इतनी जबरदस्त कि शी वॉन्टेड टू स्ट्राइक और हेड अगेंस्ट द बॉल तो 40 दिन के बाद जब आई तो कहने लगी कि इतनी इंटेंसिटी ऑफ पेन तो नहीं होती है और और रोज की बजाय दो तीन दिन के बाद होती है उसको मैंने फिर सुपारियां बना दी लॉन्ग लाची दे दी जल दे दिया फिर कहा चालीस दिन के बाद आना दिस टाइम द लेडी डिन क्राई एंड अच्छा भगवान की इच्छा होगी तो मैं आऊंगी शी अगेन केम आफ्टर फोर्टी फोर्टी वन डेज एंड सेट के मुझे अभी हफ्ते दस दिन में कभी दर्द होता है लेकिन आई एम फीलिंग मच बेटर इन दी प्रोसेस द केप्ट ऑन कमिंग टू मी फॉर सिक्स टू सेवन मंथ्स सेवन मंथ के बाद क्रिटिकल फेज ऑफ थ्री मंथ वॉज ओवर द लेडी हैड ट्रमेंडस कॉन्फिडेंस और मैं अपने मालिक को शुक्रगुजार कर रहा हूँ गुरु जी का शुक्रगुजार हो रहा हूँ कि मुझमें तो ये कैपेबिलिटी नहीं थी कि इसको इस तरह से ठीक करने की कृपा है गुरु कृपा है या भगवान की कृपा है तो आठ महीने आठवें महीने में आके मुझे बोलती कि अगर आप इजाजत दें तो मैं बच्चों से मिलने का बहुत दिल कर रहा है मैं अमेरिका जाके बच्चों से मिलके आ जाऊं मैंने कहा बेटा शौक से जाओ लेकिन जाने से पहले मिलके जाना ताकि यू कैरी सफिशिएंट क्वांटिटी ऑफ लॉन्ग इलाची एंड सुपारी एंड जल तो फिर मना जाने का लौट क्या होगी ले जाना आए लेके गए अमेरिका पहुंच गए एक महीने के बाद जट लेडी कॉल्ड मी अप फ्रॉम अमेरिका She was so incoherent in her speech because she was overwhelmed with happiness. मुझे क्या थी कुर्सी मिरकर हो गया मिरकर हो गया मैंने कहा बेटा क्या हुआ हाँ मुझसे पहले पूछ गई थी कि जिस हॉस्पिटल मेरा इलाज चल रहा था दो साल से मैं वहां जाके एक बार चेकअप करा लू मुझे शौक से कराओ उन्होंने चेकअप किया एक महीने के बाद जब रिपोर्ट उसको मिली दे फाउंड शी है नो ट्रेस ऑफ कैंसर the experiences ravi ji and many others had with these miraculous cures have happened with most of gurudev's disciples and on multiple occasions however it is imperative to qualify here that all patients do not get such miraculous results 70 to 80%
get relief in part or in whole. Some quickly, some slowly. The power decides the pace. Our intent is normally respected by the power in most cases. That is the grace bestowed upon us. Mr. Sahani, a devotee from the old days, had a close association with Gurudev. He shares an insightful episode. दूसरी लाइफ जीने वाले गुरुजी ने मुझे पूछा तू कैसे आया मेरे पास कह रहे तू मेरे को आ गया तो उन्होंने मुझे दूसरी लाइफ दी मतलब मेरे को इतनी एसिडिटी होती थी कि मैं गाड़ी ड्राइविंग कर सकता डरता था मैं तो बस गुरुजी के आशीर्वाद से मैं ठीक हो गया कितनी देर मैंने महीने मैं महीने में ठीक हो गया आप बिलीव करेंगे हाँ मैं बिलीव करूंगा मैं आपको एक कहानी सुनाऊँ मेरा नेफ्यू है उसकी मासी है बेटी को है ना वो ना रहा था मतलब हर हफ्ते उसका ब्लड चेंज होता था अच्छा तो उसकी माँ और उसके मामा मेरे घर आ गए कहते हैं ऐसे समझो गुरु जी के पास ले चल तो मैं गुरु जी के पास लेके गया उनको तो मैं सीधा गुरु जी के कमरे में मुझे रोकता तो कोई नहीं था ना तो मैं सीधा गुरु जी के कमरे में गया मैंने गुरु जी को फोटो दिखाई लड़के की मैं गुरु जी ये ऐसे ऐसे है इसके छोटे छोटे दो बच्चे हैं इसको जिंदगी दे दो तो गुरु जी ने कहा ठीक है मैं देता हूँ जिंदगी लेकिन इसमें फोटो देखते देख के बोले की इसमें बीफ खाया हुआ है अच्छा वो लंदन में पढ़ता था लंदन में रहता था लड़का तो कहता उसको बुला लिया अंदर मैंने जो अंदर बुलाया उसको गुरु को बोला कहता है उससे ये पूछ लो कि मैं लू और मैं इलायची और जल दूंगा तो उसको पीना पड़ेगा उसने कहा उसने कहा ठीक है कि वो कोई तुम्हें पूछ सकते हैं उससे गुरु पूछ के बताओ मुझे वो गुरु ने उसकी फोटो है ना आपके बैठ के नीचे डाल दी अपने बैठ के नीचे फोटो डाल दी जिसकी जिन लोगों की गुरु जी अपनी बैठ के नीचे फोटो डाल लेते तो उनको लाइक मिल जाती तो उसके बाद क्या वो हफ्ते दस दिन गुरु जी ने पूछा पानी क्या हुआ तेरे रिश्तेदार का क्या हुआ तो मैंने कहा वो तो कहता मैं नहीं लूंगा जल और इलायची तो कहता ले गुरु ने गाली निकाल के बोला ले जा उसकी फोटो निकाल के ले जा आ, मैं पूरे दिन में फोटो ढूंढते रहे हमको फोटो नहीं मिली तो गुरु जी के बैठ के नीचे कम से कम आठ से दस हजार फोटो फोटो थी लोगों की जिनको तकलीफ है थी तो जिसकी फोटो गुरु जी के बैठ के नीचे चलेगी उसको लाइक मिल जाती जी तो वही फोटो है ना हम शिवरात्रि के दिनों में हरिद्वार में जल में जल पड़वाते थे तो मैं पूरन जी वो ढूंढ ढूंढ के दुखी हो गए फोटो मिली नहीं तो उसको लाइक मिली फर्स्ट क्लास जीरा वो फर्स्ट क्लास जीरा है वो मतलब हालांकि उसने मतलब जल जल भी नहीं किया उसने मना किया कि मैं जल और इलायची नहीं लूंगा जैसे जैसे उसके मामा ने बताया मेरी तो बात नहीं हुई इससे तो मैंने गुरु जी ने कोई ऐसी अचानक एक दिन पूछा तो क्या हुआ तेरे वो रिश्तेदार का क्या हुआ मैं कहीं वो तो कदर ले गया उसकी फोटो ले जाए यहाँ से निकल के मैं पूरे दिन घूमते रहे बैठ के नीचे वो मिली नहीं फोटो तो मिली नहीं तो उसकी लाइफ मतलब बच गया ना हियर इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग रियलाइजेशन द फॉर्म ऑफ गुरुदेव हु प्रोमिस द क्योर वॉज हिज गुरु फॉर्म द वन हु शोड इरिटेबिलिटी वॉज हिज फिजिकल वन वाइल द फिजिकल हिम रिएक्टेड टू द फैक्ट दैट हिज एफर्ट्स वर नॉट बींग रिस्पेक्टेड the guru form healed the patient regardless this is a very deep and often hard to understand subject devraj has been a sthan kid he had faith in the sthan since he was 11 or thereabouts today he does seva of healing as well as counseling people helping them to move up the spiritual ladder the upcoming story is about healing as well as mamta or a mother's sacrifice and finally about justice by the guru so this is an experience which is um, more than 3 decades old this is the time when my mom and i had just uh, begun going to the sthan i was severely asthmatic and we moved cities and um, i used to chronically fall ill it was also around this time that my mom um, got detected with leukemia form of blood cancer and we heard about this thorn and um, you know when you see really if you're ready to explore all options what my mom told me for many years since then is that the first time she met guru ji he told her that he can cure only one of us now which mother would say that you cure me instead of my son my mom said the same she said cure my son and sure enough in the next um, few years with the blessings of the sthan i got all right but the beauty is not that the beauty is that somewhere my mother's sacrifice 
uh, in my favor had a exponential benefit for her you will possibly find it unbelievable but for the next 17 or 18 years till she uh, expired eventually every 3 or 6 months we used to do her blood test every 6 uh, months we used to visit a hematologist one of the most respected doctors in mumbai and every 6 uh, months she used to prepare me for the worst but the beauty is that the worst never happened till the day she expired it was 17 or 18 years later my mother didn't take a single medicine for leukemia her leukemia just didn't progress further it was one of those rarest of rare cases and i still remember her hematologist dr mb agarwal telling her eventually that you know you won't die of cancer and i think that was solely because of her sacrifice and the resulting grace of the guru rishab manaktala does seva at a place called gopi ganj halfway between banaras and alahabad he talks about an incident where one of gurudev's disciples healed a person suffering from problems related to eyesight and how that person reacted to the healer and how the healer reacted to that person quite an interesting tete tete so uh, this experience is about in the initial days when seva had started at uh, our sthan in gopiganj and on uh, one of the sundays when seva was going on guruji was there uh, himself and uh, a young man with barely any eyesight uh, trying to figure his way inside managed to come and uh, when we asked him how can you know we be of any service Uh, he spoke about you know having belly and eye sight and uh, uh, guruji then told him that okay we'll try and help you and uh, we'll try and give you a little bit of relief today and uh, with the help of the power of the stan uh, his uh, treatment was done and uh, he started getting some relief when guruji asked him how are you feeling and he said i'm slightly better but i still can't see uh since most of my vision has been lost and uh, guruji then told him okay fine but this is the best we'll be able to do for you today and uh, man just had a smile on his face he said that's fine at least i'll get to keep coming here and meeting you people and uh, that got a smile on guruji's face and he said okay fine let us help him even more today itself and uh, by the end of it uh, this man walked out of the room with most of his vision restored and uh, he couldn't himself believe what had happened to him since for a long time he was living life without clear eyesight and this is one miracle that you know i was a witness of which i thought i would like to share what do you attribute the transformation to i attribute the transformation to the power of the sthan and the energy of the sthan and to the grace of the guru and the attitude of that individual who was seeking help who was fine with being only helped partially and was okay with not expecting a miracle to happen for him and i think uh, a combination of these things and Absolutely, the grace of the Guru is what made it happen for this person. Tanika Bhalla and her husband Dhruv do seva in Bengal and heal people who come to them for help. Besides the seva of healing, they feed people daily and run a free clinic for pain management. How this story began is quite interesting. Tanika recounts how she connected to the sthan and thereby to herself. you had a miraculous experience when uh, in a few hours a clot in your brain disappeared can you share that experience with us uh, this was quite an incredible uh, experience that i had actually um, after my first pregnancy after about 7 uh, days when i got back home 3 uh, 4 days later um, i suddenly started getting this really pounding headache and i didn't know what was happening so i asked uh, drove my husband to get me a chilled bottle of water 
which i finished in like uh, maybe 10 15 seconds and then i just told him after finishing the water that i just can't see anything and that's the last thing i remember um i just remember the next day waking up in the morning uh, in in icu bed and with no one around and uh, i was completely clueless what had happened now what had actually happened was that i had an epileptic attack that night and uh, drove and a few other people drove me to the hospital admitted me the doctors there were pretty surprised uh, that you know i was still having that attack which had lasted for a good uh, one hour um they put me on to medication and they said that there was a clot in my brain uh, which could have probably occurred when i had my cesarean and this clot had traveled upwards and uh, gone and sat in my occipital lobe which is basically to do with eyesight which is why i there was a complete blackout and i couldn't see anything uh they told everyone that uh, you know uh, they've given the medication but they were pretty convinced that uh, i would i would surely wake up but when i wake up there is going to be a side effect uh, of this uh, clot being in the brain um it could be a paralytic uh, effect it could be something to do with my eyesight i could probably lose vision in one eye i could even have blurry vision for a while um at that point everyone was very worried and uh, drove called up guruji and he said that this is what has happened and guruji asked for my photograph when uh, he saw my photograph he just told bro that it's 5 in the morning you have not slept all night and kanika is in the icu no one can stay with her so it's best you all go back home and rest come back the next morning and it will be fine bro uh, wasn't very convinced in the beginning and he said that how could we leave her in this condition guruji insisted and said you just need to go back home and rest come back the next morning they did that and when they came back the next morning the doctors uh, who met them was so surprised and they were so shocked and absolutely astonished out of their wits because they said that uh, the patient has woken up seems to have zero side effect no paralysis uh, clear vision and the the clot had just completely disappeared there was no sign of that clot being there and uh, they were absolutely taken aback um it's so much so that a neurologist visited me like three or four days in a row just to just to be sure that i was having no side effect and i was absolutely all right they wanted to keep me in the hospital for a few extra days but let me go earlier just because they said there is no point in keeping you back since you seem to be absolutely all right they also said that uh, i need to be careful i may be di- i was kind of diagnosed with epilepsy this was my first ever attack and i mean all thanks to guruji's grace my my last I have never had this attack and it's been 10 years now. Um actually 11 years now but uh, I mean it's all Guruji's grace that uh, this happened. In fact I had no such clue till uh, about uh, 10 days later when everyone told me that this is what I had been through and that was the moment that I had called up Guruji instantly and I told him that I need to wear the kada because I was absolutely um blown over and you know uh, absolutely in his under his grace I realized that that is the umbrella that we need to be standing under delegation of supernature is something very few people have done in the history of the world but gurudev certainly practiced this very efficiently you're going to hear the stories of healing performed by men and women who are part of the third generation of gurudev's disciples in terms of spiritual seva coming up is a story of how gurudev came and gave a cue to puja seth about how to treat a patient who had not even arrived on the scene uh one night i had a darshan of bade guru ji and uh, he showed me a coconut with a flower in it and uh, in the conversation he said give this to a, a flower to a lady who doesn't have a child to any child as couple uh and the dreams ended after uh some time and uh, very soon it was guru purnima and uh, i as usual blessed my guru, uh, coconut from guruji and i took told guruji about this dream that had happened so he said yes beta we will uh, we will do some the needful when required after a few days when i kept my coconut in a mandir i saw a flower coming out of the of the coconut with the uh, a kerchief that was tied on it so i removed it and uh, took it uh, the following guruvar i showed uh, para guru i showed guruji about the coconut and i said this was the flower that ha- had come inside inward into the coconut and like gurudev had said give it to some lady who de- who doesn't have a child so by chance there was a lady who's been coming to this town from years and she was childless 
So we Guruji uh, asked us to give it to her, make make her have that. And uh, very soon we got to know after a few months that she had conceived and she was expecting her uh, first child. And it was only the blessing of Guruji, uh, Guru Dev, that uh, it actually happened that uh, she conceived. And uh, after a few after that Guru Var, uh, Guru Purnima, uh, two three consecutive years, I had I found a flower inside the coconut. So we gave it to some other people who required it, but that lady followed had about four or five children uh, after this incident. Due to issues of reach and difficulty of physical intervention, a new strategy of remote healing has been implemented. Guru Dev had been doing this all along because he rarely had time to meet people for more than half a minute or less. Most of us found that following in his footsteps. was a successful experiment the way it's been tweaked is that half a dozen sevadars coordinate the remote healing with a group leader the results have been fairly satisfying and besides relief to people remote it allows us to involve many more people in this effort deepak nagpal one of the coordinators explains So Deepak ji how exactly does remote healing work uh, There are different ways of remote healing either you can do it on a telephone call with a patient on the other end or you can do it with holding an image of his in front of you and the other one is that you can capture if you have met that person you can capture his image in your mind you can do healing even that way So what do you use during healing Now, during the healing, uh, we uh, imagine the person who is on opposite side, and we do mantras. And with the mantra, we keep doing the healing. So you concentrate with mantras on that person. Yes. Yes. How can you confirm to me that remote healing works? Yeah. So when we go on doing the treatment with mantra uh, on in remote healing, we get a feeling after some time that the, that it is being effective. and after some time we do ask the patient whether he is on telephone call or if he is on an image maybe later on uh, the person hangs up and says that he is feeling better so we ask him how much percentage so when he says about 20 30% 40% then we know we are in the right direction and we just continue to really get 60 70% will be in keeping with the subject of remote healing here is an example shared by Vipin Seth a sevadar at the Mumbai sthan of how he healed the person in a few minutes over the telephone ek bade gurwar ko ji gaddi pe baith ke seva kar rahe the to ek parents aaye father and the mother requested uh, stan that unki bachchi hospital pe thi and unki back pain mein she was had a bad injury or something which is that she was in the hospital for few days and doctors were saying it's going to take a long time for her to get healed they requested and i took the name of the guruji and the stand took a help from the stand and spoke to the girl on the phone and did a treatment for 3 minutes or 4 minutes i don't really remember she could feel 90% relief and believe me after two or three days she was being discharged from the hospital and she is comfortable now decades of seva and sincerity have made puja seth put on a lot of spiritual weight her experience of astral travel shows that gurudev's spiritual training extends to several generations of disciples Pooja ji uh, you were telling me earlier that you have had experiences where you've seen yourself traveling to help somebody in your out of body form and the next day that person confirmed that uh, he had seen you yeah right so could you explain that experience to us so uh, i have quite a few experiences where i have been going out of the body and treating people and uh, one of them is such that when uh, there was a lady who was very badly injured 
and uh, she was in too much pain and she called me up to tell me that such a thing happened i think i don't know uh, what happened uh, i actually traveled to her uh, in my sleep because the intent was there and helped her do, do her treatment and helped her with her pain and next morning she called me up to say that thank you for coming over to meet me and you have pulled out all my pain and relieved me of my pain and perfectly fine another incident follows which is slightly more uncanny than the one above Bharat was supposed to go for his uh, scan CT scan and he was just terribly frightened about it so he kept postponing it and uh, i don't know he was having that scan but then next morning he called me up and he said thank you so much for coming and standing with me when i was having the scan and holding my hand so i could manage to do my scan so it was an out of body experience where i was there present with him but at the same time he saw me around over there but in your physical form where were you I was in my bed on my bed I was lying down I uh, do a lot of meditation in the night so it is at that time we took puja ji's claim and verified it with bharat the person who had the mri and he was absolutely certain he saw her and spent time with her and was helped by her it's uncanny but then almost everything that gurudev's disciples do is uncanny too doctor he has back had gone for an mri and i was very scared the first time i came out running so my wife told me please think of guruji and go again so i went again thinking of guruji when i was lying down i saw puja ji holding my hand and talking to me so out the mri she i was holding on to her hand and when the mri got over i came out i asked for her my wife said what puja ji how would she be here? I said no. She was holding my hand and talking to me, and she said there is no puja ji over here. So I was very very surprised because I had not imagined this. I was I saw her hand and I was talking. It was a conversation with her. Was puja ji with you? There wasn't any puja ji there. Apparently, apparently, according to the technician and my wife, she wasn't. but i yet maintain she was there i held her hand and i had a conversation she was talking and she was comforting me throughout dr vachani has been coming to the sthan for over 3 decades regularly and sincerely he has been a practitioner of mantra vidya for all that time and helps in the handling of patients at the sthan His wife Bhavna is the backbone of the Mumbai Sthan's kitchen and has people licking their fingers in spite of my view that ours is not a place for FNB it's a place for SNG or spirituality and growth his experiences of healing at the sthan come with technicals attached doc sahab aap se ye janna tha कि आप एज ए प्रैक्टिसिंग डॉक्टर आपने कोई ऐसे किस्से देखे हैं जो मेडिकल साइंस से नहीं क्योर हुए और क्या आपने उन लोगों को स्थान भेजा है और वहाँ पे क्योर मिला है उन्हें ऐसा कुछ हुआ है हाँ एक बंदा था जिसको ब्लड प्रेशर था और आई डोंट नो बट ब्लड प्रेशर तो वैसे मेडिकल साइंस में ठीक हो जाता है बट आई सेंट हिम टू स्थान एंड विद इन सिक्स मंथ ऑफ मेडिकेशन ये मेरे को मालूम है one more case i remember one doctor's daughter she had tablet brain tb so this is known as tuberculosis meningitis and i had admitted her under my care because uh, i was uh, known to them and we were treating her fine with anti tubercular treatment with the help of neurologist also she improved for 5 six then then she started deteriorating and her uh, neurological symptoms becoming bad all that and ultimately i had lot hopes I was thinking that she will not survive. I had called two more neurologists. Nothing was happening. Then I told the mother, "If you believe, there is no harm in trying. If you want." She had come to Sthan, and her treatment was also done. That girl improved after that. Sometimes ill health defies medical analysis because it is based on factors unknown, like spirits, black magic, negative energies, etc. Dr Vachani is lucky to have an open mind and is therefore able to fathom more than what is taught at med school 
ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਲੇਡੀ ਸੀ ਅਬਾਊਟ 65 70 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਨੀ ਆ ਹੈ ਟ੍ਰੀਟਡ ਹਿਸ ਸਨ ਫॉर ਹਾਰਟ ਅਟੈਕ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਹੈਡ ਏ ਮਤਲਬ ਬਲਾਈਂਡ ਫੇਥ ਇਨ ਮਾਈ ਐਡਵਾਈਸ ਟ੍ਰੀਟਮੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਗਾਈਡੈਂਸ ਐਂਡ ਹਿਸ ਵਨ ਸਨ ਵਾਸ ਡਰੰਕਾਰਡ ਅਲਕੋਹੋਲਿਕ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਵਾਸ ਅਗੇਂਸਟ ਦੈਟ ਵਨ ਡੇ ਸਡਨਲੀ ਦੇ ਕਾਲਡ ਮੀ ਆਪ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਕਿ ਮਦਰ ਇਸ ਨਾਟ ਬਿਹੇਵਿੰਗ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰਲੀ so she was behaving abnormally and all that um, asking for alcohol so i admitted her in i uh, thinking it to be a brain issue i admitted her into my nursing home three four days i did everything but could not uh, get any results the time uh, i told them ki if you want we can try san ka de so they agreed maine kaha main guarantee deta hu theek ho jayegi so they came to san and uh, before letting them go into the guruji's room i told guruji ki maine promise kar diya and uh, and in fact he fired me ki next time don't promise without seeing because she is she is not caring one she has got a lot of matlab goals one not one so anyway he did something and uh, uh, some people were come to revival nursing home and do treatment whatever was required because i was just new so i don't know anything about that stuff can treatment and then we discharge her after two more days after 5 days when i went home to see because according to me i could not make the diagnosis and nothing was conclusive and she was perfectly fine absolutely as before i have 100% faith in medical profession i would now realize that more than 60% problems are psychosomatic and another thing which i never knew is the ghost may be there like before coming to sun being a medical student i never thought it could be possible but after coming to stan seeing people slowly 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 i have developed faith in that i remember one more case he was a punjabi gentleman at around 45 50 years old he had uh, been admitted under my care with a frank heart attack and he was he became all right as far as heart attack was concerned after that he had lot of issues which was very difficult to understand what it is but some or other things were not becoming he was not becoming 100% realized as a normal human being and after 2 3 years they called me up again ki he has got chest pain and all those things then i told him ki it is already 3 years more and you are having chest pain all the time and you are unable to work properly let us get the angio done again and we admitted him into the nanavati hospital he became totally violent uncontrollable at all the cardiologist called me and said it can't be done because he is so violent and he has to be sedated and he was discharged without getting the angio done then i met them at their house this is definitely a spirit related problem it's not a medical issue i told the wife ki this is this is my feeling though i am a cardiologist and md doctor but this is my experience but then the patient was in the balcony i also went to him and i had a one to one talk to him but this talk was not a speech and voice was not his somebody else was speaking to me and he told me oh, jab bhi main inke inko khatam karne aata hu aap beech mein taang gada dete ho for a doctor to accept that the cause of a certain illness is spirit attacks brings to the fore the limitations of medical science that a disease that is abnormal may need abnormal intervention The spirit in this case was meant to kill the patient but due to Gurudev's grace over Dr. Vachani it did not succeed. Of course it all started with Buddhe Baba. Buddhe Baba initiated the one man show. The one man initiated a many man show. How far will this continue? I wonder. Hope it does for many generations to come. healing has always worked and showcased itself as a sign of providence helping to build faith in those who witness and also those who hear these stories gurudev gave a message which i am duty bound to share he said in due course people will come to the samadhi at nazavgarh keep a bottle of water take a parikrama collect the water which will by then have become jal or healing liquid I conclude by saying Allah Allah khair sallah which means may the divine look after all
हम भी दरिया हैं हमें अपना हुनर मालूम है हम भी दरिया हैं हमें अपना हुनर मालूम है जिस तरफ भी चल पड़ेंगे रास्ता हो जाएगा